Hey YouTubers and welcome back to Tony the Technician channel and today we're going to be going into another video on the Harbor Freight's new tools list. So I like to do these once once a month or so um, and just kind of keep everybody up to date on what's new. So basically I'll go through this and we will stop around the same point that the last video ended because Harbor Freight doesn't really take things off of the new tools list until it's like at least a year old so like the list just keeps going and going and going but the further you go the older the items get so uh, we'll just take a look until we start running into the items that were included in the last Harbor Freight video so first up is the Bauer they have a couple of the 20 volt brushless cordless reciprocating saws there's a compact one and the standard size one and these are tool only for eighty dollars so not a bad price i don't use the bauer lineup i only use really two cordless tool brands that i go to uh, which is milwaukee and walt i don't really venture outside of that because i don't like any more chargers than i need i don't want any more i don't want to run multiple different lineups i try to stick with just the two and keep it simple the only reason I would ever see myself switch is if I have very bad experiences with one for some reason in the future. And if that were to happen, if I was having issues with one of those two brands, I probably wouldn't go a cheaper route. I would probably look for something better. If you guys have experience with the Bauer cordless tools, please let me know your guys' thoughts. Or if anybody's purchased this yet. Then they have a couple rolls of solder. Here they have a Braun 290 lumen neck light, which is pretty nice. I'm not sure... If this is rechargeable or if it's ran off of double A's or just a light head, rechargeable. So up to four and a half hours of runtime. So to me, that's a pretty good deal for a rechargeable one. If it wasn't rechargeable, I, I probably wouldn't purchase it um, just because batteries and lights can get very expensive. Uh, Icon has released a new 8-inch hose grip set of hose grip pliers. Those are always handy and $20 isn't terrible. Then a couple of sets of Bremen locking pliers and sanding discs. I don't get any sanding discs or anything like that from Harbor Freight. Some trailer equipment, miscellaneous items. Master fuel injection service kit from Icon. This is a $300 set. Looks like it's a pretty decent assortment. Actually looks like a pretty nice set. But once again, you would have to... This isn't really going to be the for those that are just... A, a DIY or weekend warrior because not many people are going to go drop $300 on a job that they're probably going to do once or twice in their life. Is this really for, no, this is going to be more for those that do this fairly often to the professional grade. So those are the ones that are going to have to really compare this to the other fuel injector service kits out there and compare the price and what's included and everything. We'll see how that sells. Here they have a new Daytona one and a half ton professional racing series jack. It's the aluminum, low profile. Got a nice little rubber cap on top. So I would actually consider this. I have just the standard Pittsburgh, I don't know what it is, two ton jack. And it's been great for the six or seven years that I've had it. I think I got it for like $80 or so. Um, I don't think this is a bad deal at all for 130 the racing jack needs just a half a turn to release the lightning fast pit stops. So with this, it's got the dual parallel pump system that's supposed to lift further with fewer pumps. Uh, it has a universal joint release mechanism for controlled descents of your load from any handle position. So it's supposed to lift faster with less work and release smoother. So I think it's a pretty nice jack, I guess time will tell. They have quite a wide variety of jack options available there at Harbor Freight now. It used to be like two or three different options. Now they have like 10 different options and 10 different colors for every option. Here they have some portable power stations. Uh, I've never used any of these. Uh, it's a 3600 watt, a 2000 watt, and a 1000 watt. Ranging anywhere from $550 to $1600. If you guys have any input on those, please share it down in the comments. Then they have the Bauer 20-volt cordless 7-gallon wet-and-dry vacuum, which is, seems like a pretty good deal, $100, and you got yourself a portable cordless vacuum. That could be very handy. Now, obviously, if you're doing a whole lot of work, as long as you have enough batteries, it's probably not an issue. Um, but then again, if you don't have those batteries, that's where it's going to get you. It's $100 for the vacuum. And then if you 
use this quite a bit, you're going to want to at least pick up two batteries. And that's not going to be cheap, so it's going to it's going to add up. I like the idea, but how long it lasts and the power at which it lasts at will really deter determine that. But I do like the idea. Quinn set of strippers and crimpers for $7, not a bad deal. A lot of miscellaneous items still. Here they have a Hercules tote. These totes always seem very overpriced to me, whether it's Hercules Harbor Freight stuff or Lowe's or Home Depot or whatever. Any brand that makes these totes, they always want a ridiculous amount for I think $50 for that is ridiculous. Um, I know hard cases in which will last longer and protect your tools a lot more for around that price. Why would I spend something on a cloth bag? Now, there are some of those that are priced better. Um, I can definitely see where these are handy, but I just think on a lot of them, the price are just a lot higher than they need to be. There's definitely not $50 worth of material there. I can guarantee you that. Not even close to it. Some warrior stuff. I don't go near any of the warrior stuff. A couple of waterproof cases in a couple of different colors. $30. I think that's a pretty good deal. Here they have the Baxter 6-inch Professional Self-Vacuuming Random Orbital Sander, which is pretty nice. So if you do a lot of sanding uh, with woodwork or anything like that, or, you know, bodywork, uh, having a vacuum can definitely save you a lot, man. When I was working on this hood, I could do that. I should have definitely used a, a vacuum when I was uh, cutting into the fiberglass. But, yeah, the vacuum attachment can be a, a very handy thing. Here they have a Quinn 3 8 drive extendable breaker bar for $22. That's not bad. Those extendable breaker bars can actually be very handy. The Icon half inch 40 to 250 foot pound professional split beam torque wrench. So it is a flex head. Another nice option as far as torque wrenches. The split beams are pretty nice. Uh, it's a nice style of torque wrench. It, it should still be a click style torque wrench uh, that just basically you don't have to constantly adjust the spring inside you can just leave it set whatever it's at um, and it's pretty quick to adjust they're pretty nice but usually they do only work in one direction so that's the downside to split beams but as long as you don't you know torque anything reverse thread or anything like that then you have no problems this thing can can be a fantastic tool especially for that price I think it's a, a good deal then they got the icon half inch drive SAE professional deep socket set 13 piece set for $64 which isn't bad icon has within the last month or two released their ratchet 2.0s their sockets due to softness of material and binding issues uh, and so far from what I've gathered is the issues are resolved so we will see with further use here's a Pittsburgh no spill coolant funnel which is a nice addition as well those are very handy to have I have the OEM version and it works very well um, it's it's similar to this set then they have a new double garage magnetic screen door I'm actually going to pick this up so next summer we'll be doing a review I know that's a ways away but I'm not gonna buy it during the winter time because I'm not gonna use it uh, double magnetic screen door so I can basically work with my garage door open and not worry about a ground squirrel coming in here ripping open a bag of bird feed and eating it and then chewing the bottom seal off of my garage door in the middle of the night in order to get back outside. Um, that's just an example of what could happen if you leave your garage door open and work on the car without this. <laughs> Grinder discs. And I think this is roughly where we took off last time because we have went over a another extendable breaker bar and I remember going over this lantern fan so I think that's roughly where we left off last time yes because uh, they released the power probe and the code readers and everything so not a whole lot in the last month that they've released as far as the tools that they have listed here on the new tools section of the website uh, a couple of decent items like the jack and the light and these new Bauer brushless tools if you are a Bauer fan or if that's what you use so a few decent items but if you have used any of these items that I mentioned please share your thoughts down below whether they be positive or negative 
the input would be greatly appreciated and i really hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please make sure to hit that thumbs up leave a comment down below of your guys thoughts overall and as always if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing and stay tuned for next month where we'll do another update on the new tools from harbor freight